Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. The first card is uh, the way to your heart. Um, you know, it's about feeling a little disempowered uh, in whatever is going on at this particular moment. You see this man is, uh, you know, on his haunches, maybe whatever it is the situation is, it's brought you down to your knees a little bit. Uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's giving you a hand over there and, you know, you've been left to your own devices, really. So not being very, very supported in whatever job you're doing at the, this particular time. Uh, you've got this without hope, so you're feeling a little bit helpless, a little bit hopeless as well at this time. Like I said, not being supported uh, you know, maybe um, not actually even being able to see how to get yourself out of this particular situation. Uh, it seems, you know, uh, you've got the avoid all excess over here. So if you're, uh, you know, overdoing things uh, in this, you know, if you're going on and, you know, drinking too much or, you know, maybe doing some kind of uh, habit too much, it's time for you to actually give that up and, you know, take change your focus as well. So whatever it is might be depressing you, uh, you know, you need to avoid excess, you need to actually start uh, cleaning up the situation and focusing on yourself and your health as well uh, and getting yourself back on track, really. So you've got the renew yourself, you can see again here, a need for you to get yourself renewed, uh, get uh, focused on yourself. Maybe there's a need for you to actually, uh, you know, there's been a need for you to actually focus on your health, really. Uh, this is also about study, so maybe there's also been this offer that is coming for you to do some further learning or some further training uh, in order for you to get back on track again. Because it seems like something has happened over there with you uh, that has made you lose faith in yourself or has made you lose your confidence, um, you know. And it doesn't seem like anybody's around there to give you that support that you really need. So you're going to have to dig deep within yourself. Uh, and get it and you can do it it's not hard and this is the art of dying so this is like the death card and this is about letting go of the past whatever disappointments you've had you've got to have to move on cut your ties with that part uh, that part of your life uh, slot it down to lot uh, to a loss to any uh, to experience and move on from it so let it go and move on don't let it bring you down because it's you know stirring up a whole lot of issues you you know, it's causing health issues there for you, and this is not the way to go. For. Uh, and you need to find uh, something else, something new, find a new goal. So this is true nourishment. So this is about doing things that are all wrong for you in this uh, excess card. You can see this man eating food that is not good for his health. And this about true nourishment is about something, uh, finding you, yourself some kind of goal, some kind of direction in life that actually does bring you joy and satisfaction. So maybe changing your pathway, you know, uh, doing something different, doing something that you love to do that will give you inspiration for the rest of your life. So letting go of that past, changing the situation yourself and moving on to something that you wanted to always do and something that gives you that uh, satisfaction. So you do need to refocus and get yourself out of feeling depressed and feeling helpless. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the uh, Black Cat Tarot. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the king of pentacles over here. <laughs> this, is the side. this is the king of pentacles over here. So, you know, you have been working pretty hard at whatever you're doing. You're very focused on your work over there, and it is bringing in the coin. Uh, you might be feeling a little lonely at the top over there, but, uh, you know, you are in some kind of management position over there, and it is bringing in money. Uh, and, you know, you are earning pretty well over there. Um, there's some kind of... Uh, big event that happened, some kind of big disruption that came into your life, um, you know, uh, that it stirred up a, a lot of, uh, you know, problems. You've got the tower immediately uh, above it. So you're getting maybe your security back over there, just trying to find your feet again. So something has happened, something was, that was very shocking, that I was very upsetting, and you're trying to get that stability back again with that King of Pentacles. Now, uh, what's happening with you? Whatever happened had a big effect on you. So you might have some health issues going on over there. 
uh, with that four of uh, swords. So maybe getting over some kind of illness. Whatever this tower moment was, it caused a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, you know, it, it upset you quite a bit, and it seems to have had some kind of emotional impact. Um, and as well as some physical impact as well. So it looks like, you know, there's been some health issues that has arisen because of all that stress uh, that has gone on. Uh, you are trying to find yourself again. You've got this King of uh, Cups, and this is your card. Looking to the past for answers because he's facing that way, but also trying to make, come up with new goals over there. Uh, you know, you, it's almost, he's not on his throne over here, so something has almost dethroned you. So uh, there's been a loss of confidence, but also, uh, you know, a loss of authority there. And you're trying to find solutions to whatever this problem is. Uh, looking to the past, trying to find new goals as well over there with that King of Cups. And maybe you've been even seeking, you know, there's been health issues going on over here. The King of Cups is also about seeking medical uh, um, input into your life. So, uh, you know, going and getting uh, medical advice or going and even seeing a doctor, even going to the hospital. With the two cards next to each other, the Four of uh, Swords and uh, the King of Cups, maybe you've had some uh, health issues and you've had to go and get some specialist uh, treatment uh, for whatever issues you've had. And this has had an impact on your finances or an impact on your working ability as well. So in the past, you've got that queen of coins over here, and you can see this is about you being in a, you, you know, you were working pretty hard, you were, uh, you know, watching, you were working on a project, uh, you put a, invested a lot of time and effort on, on it, and you were watching it grow. So you were nurturing some kind of project, and, you know, um, uh, that was what you were in charge of, maybe in charge of a lot of people. Um, you can see this is in sitting in authority, but all this um, uh, hay or what, corn is growing sorry, wheat is growing. So it's growing from the ground up. Uh, so, you know, you started a project, you put a lot of effort, you were, uh, you know, involved in overseeing that particular project. It looks like there was a successful conclusion to that particular project because you can see there's lots of bales of hay over there. So the wheat has been cut and it's brought in a lot of finances. So there was a successful outcome to whatever this project was that you had been so invested in. Uh, but something has happened, you know, there's a lot of anxiety over here, feeling very, very trapped, um, doing, you know, this person's doing a lot of self-reflection, but also being very, very uh, trapped within that situation. So there's some kind of, uh, something that has happened because you've got the tower immediately below it. Something has happened within this particular situation that caused a lot of anxiety and stress and had you feeling extremely um, trapped within uh, this particular job, very anxious so that you're not even sleeping well at night. So even though the project seems to be successful, there seems to have been a lot of anxiety that's happened because there's something that happened with that tower moment that caused all this anxiety and that seems to have caused a lot of um, stress and that's caused illnesses that come, came in. So you could have been working on the project and then ended up being sick because of all the stress from that project or the project itself could have been the thing that caused the illness itself. So this is about you trying to come up with a new goal, trying to find something new to do. Uh, you know, uh, you want to move on. You, you're coming up with a new plan. This is the star card over here. Uh, and this is about using your skills and going in a different direction, really. So you're trying to come up with a new uh, direction in life. So, uh, you know, maybe something that's not as stressful as uh, what you've been going through. Uh, there's some kind of decision that you have to make. And it looks like it is stress-related as well, because you've got that swords card over here. Uh, you know, everything seems to be very, uh, you know, dry and burnt out over here. And maybe this is how you're feeling, uh, you know, very burnt out, very stressed out. Somebody's giving you a helping hand over there. There's somebody that's helping you through this particular situation, maybe giving you some advice, uh, you know, keeping you balanced, really. So whatever it is that is going on has been very stressful. It looks like you have been seeking some kind of medical advice or medical counseling, but you are feeling very, um, you know, uh, worn out, really. Now, there looks like there's some kind of legal decision that is, being, that is pending as well. So there could have been legalities, and maybe this is the thing that has caused all the stress. Because, you know, every... You know, the cards that are causing stress all seem to be this, the sword cards. And then you've got this emperor card over here. So there might be some legal issues that you are facing. Maybe you're waiting for that legal decision to come in. With the emperor card, it's about a legal decision that is going to be made. And you're waiting for some kind of judgment or official decision to make. And this is the thing that is stressing you out quite a bit. Because it's causing that anxiety, a lot of anxiety over there. 
you know, you're having to look at things very, very carefully. You look at all your moves and your motives and, you know, looking at, you know, all your actions as well, you know, questioning yourself. So there's something that is legal is going on as well that is causing all the stress. Now, uh, you've got the Queen of Cups over here. So you're having, you know, to do a lot of research uh, to sort this problem out. Queen of Cups tends to be a little bit uh, depressed. This is also your card. Um... But uh, this is doing a lot of research. Now, you've got both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. This is the King of Cups looking to the past. This is the Queen of Cups doing a lot of paperwork over there, going and doing a lot of research to find out, um, you know, solutions over there to this particular problem. So uh, something is coming through, uh, you know, it looks like it's a very legal thing, and you're going to have to do a lot of research, um, you know, to find out how to overcome this particular situation. What you want to do is just get on with your work and focus on that work. So you have been working very hard, just get on with things. Uh, but it looks like there's some kind of decision that needs to be made over here. You do need to be in the know uh, that uh, Emperor card is about, uh, you know, being very strategic. And it's also all, also uh, about, uh, you know, making sure that you're very logical and looking for a logical outcome. So going and doing that research, doing that further. This is like doing further study, maybe doing a lot of written communication as well. So there's something that you're dealing with uh, in the legal aspect of things uh, that needs to be sorted out before you can move on. And, uh, you know, you will move on. You've got the death card coming in over here. So this is cutting things and moving on. And yet again, research needs to be done before that judgment is made and that you can move on. So make sure you've got your back covered, all your facts in order, uh, and you know you may be called upon to present that uh, forward. Um, this is also a card about you know cutting those uh, losses and moving on, um, and you know starting something new. So you're weighing your options to make a brand new start, really somewhere else. Uh, you've got some options or some ideas in your mind, and you're thinking about what you want to do to bring in abundance. And it looks like you're going to be able to move away from it. So there, it looks like there's some kind of legal issue or some kind of official uh, issue that's going on. Uh, some kind of decision that is going to be made, uh, which will, um, you know, it's already causing you a lot of anxiety and stress. It caused a tower moment, definitely. Uh, a lot of drama that came out of it. And it looks like you're going to cut your losses and move on uh, with that Six of Swords after that legal issue was going on. Now, the Six of Swords comes in after a lot of conflict. Uh, you know, moving on to making plans to move on, uh, taking your skills and going on. And this might even be traveling overseas. So making plans to travel overseas, cutting your losses, moving away from the situation and going on. It's, you know, it seems like something big has happened. You're making a big decision with that two of swords over there or big decision is being made at the moment. And you're waiting um, for a judgment to come in. That Queen of Cups is also maybe about traveling, traveling away, traveling overseas, maybe putting out a lot of feelers, maybe putting out a lot of job applications as well, um, and moving on, you know, taking your skills really and moving on. There's going to be a lot of replies to whatever applications you put in because there's a lot of cups, seven of cups over there. Uh, so make up your mind and it looks like you're going to be moving overseas. So something big has happened. There's a big shift going on over here, a big change going on over here. It's got some uh, effects on your health over here. So you need to take a little bit of a, a break. You're very stressed out right now. You need to heal. You need medical attention. If you need it, please go for it because you've got that king of cups over there. And waiting for this legal uh, decision to come. But it seems like once it comes through, you're going to be moving on, cutting your losses and going. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the... Okay, from the fairy tarot, and it's got the nine of winter again. So this is about a lot of stress. This is twice unfounded fear, focusing on the worst case scenario and allowing worry to grow out of proportion uh, in, to the problem. So you're not sleeping at, at night. You're very, very stressed out, uh, you know, expecting the worst case scenario over here. So something, and, you know, because it's swords, it's about something legal. There's definitely some kind of uh, legal issue that you're dealing with at the moment. You've got the Six of Summer over here, so childhood or, or children, a return of people from the past, romanticizing the past and um, seeing it in a better or worse light. Now, for me, the Six of Summer is generally about an offer that comes in. So it looks like an offer is going to be coming because it's cups. It's an offer from overseas, I think. So there are, this is going to be uh, an offer, a job offer that comes in for you. Uh, and that is the thing that you're going to be uh, accepting 
and moving on. And it's something that's going to fulfill wishes. It's going to give you a lot of satisfaction. Uh, wishes come true, dreams fulfilled, a magical time in life. So it looks like there's some kind of offer, overseas offer for a job. It could even be a job that involves further training or education, but it looks like it's an overseas offer that comes in. Uh, and it's going to get you out of this particular situation. So, it, you know, whatever this decision is, it might not have that much of an impact on your life. It looks like you're going to uh, leave anyway and you're going to move on. There is somebody there that helps you uh, out, but it looks like you're cutting your ties, cutting your losses, and you're going going off, uh, leaving it and moving away from it. So I hope this has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.